Hey, it's it's uh, Erica. W w welcome back to my channel. T today, I am going to be talking about something I, I don't think I've talked about, about on this channel before, but I've talked about it in blog posts and um, uh, uh, articles I've written for different publications, but it's, well, the topic, the, the topic is called Inspiration Porn, and it, it has nothing to do with porn, but it is about when people use disabled people as objects of inspiration. And while I don't know this for a fact, at least from my perspective, the reason why we call it inspiration porn in the disabled community is because it ob objectifies and exploits disabled people for the benefit of non-disabled people and also just for the non-disabled gays. Um, not not gays. I, I had them tell this video where, and I'm I, I, editing it, but I think there's like memes with like there's a man with two a a double amputee running next to a a child that is also a double amputee running and. It has a, a quote on it that says, what's your I excuse? And I mean, a lot of people may see that and they may be like, that's harmless. You, you, you're nitpicking and maybe, but what, what I always think is, why does a disabled person doing something have any implication on non-disabled people doing that. Like, just because I was able to graduate college and I'm disabled, doesn't mean that a non-disabled person can do that. And that doesn't make them any less. And also I think the real problem with that is it's assuming disabled people are always less so that when we're doing more, it looks not, it, it makes non-disabled people look bad and that ignores the nuances and diversity of the disabled community by boiling it down to the most palatable example of a, of a disabled person. And what I mean by that is like, it, it takes one example, like someone running a race and says, look at how great they are. Look at disabled people doing great things. But it's like disabled people are just people. And yes, I identify as disabled. Like that is a very important aspect of my identity, but like, I don't exist to inspire anybody. I, like, I feel like people think, like, I'm not sure if, it, like, it's not even necessarily a religious thing, but I'm just going to use a religious example just because that's what's coming to mind right now. And I... I I just have to use what hops into my head. But, um, so, like, religious people, specifically in this case, Christians, might think that, like, God put a disabled person on this earth to teach non-disabled people a, a, a lesson. And it's like, why, why can't we just exist for ourselves? Why can't I just be a 
person in my own right and not just being a, a symbol for able-bodied people to feel better about their lives. Like, that, that's, first of all, that's a lot of pressure to put on people. And, and second of all, it's just very de humanizing and it really ignores all of the other aspects of me as a, a person. Then that's not to say that I hate everybody that's ever called me in inspiring because, like, first of all, I do think that that word can mean different things to different people, but also people that may use it in a context that of offends me. I'm not gonna hate them. It's just I I kind of cringe because I don't want to be inspiring. I don't aim to be inspiring. I just aim to do what I want to do and do what I love. If 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 that makes sense. And able-bodied people doing the same thing wouldn't be called in, inspiring. So why am I considered inspiring? It seems kind of like not fair and, and just it's just a lot of pressure and I think it it says a lot about what we think of disabled people as a society like we we think that disabled people are here to teach us something and I mean I guess you can believe that if you, you want but I, I don't believe that because I'm a, a human being with complex thoughts and feelings like there's a lot going on in my head head in my life so I can tell you it doesn't feel like I'm just here to symbolize something like I feel like I'm here to be me and to f fulfill my life purpose when whatever your religion is I don't think that really matters because like, and the, and the point is, is that we really need to see disabled people as people in their own right, not as, not, not as whatever we need them to be today. Like, if you need inspiration today, I don't know, go look up inspirational quotes. I mean, I don't really think those work, but... If that's what you want to do, then go do that. But don't exploit disabled people for, for that because we don't exist for that. And I know that there are disabled people that don't mind being called in, in inspirational, but also a, a lot of us do. Like, obviously, the disabled community is not a ma ha uh, uh, no, we, we don't all think the same, we don't all have the same ideas or want the same things or feel the same way, and that's okay. This is just my perspective and my understanding of this, uh, of things, and I try to make that clear in all of my videos, that I'm not speaking for all disabled people. And I do hope that some of my content does resonate with other d disabled people, but I know that it's not going to resonate with every single disabled person, and that is okay because we're all individuals at the end of the day. And I think I, I think that's it for today's video. It's a pretty short one, but that's okay. I really hope you like. It and I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. I talk about like social issues related to disability and I also share a limited mobility and ad ad adaptive workouts. I, I react to, to some other 
content and I also tell st stories about my disability. So if you would like to see more of that content, please hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out because I am trying to get to 100 subscribers by my 24th birthday, which is May 22nd. And right now, I'm at about, I think last time I checked, I'm at 62 or 63. So, like, I'm, I'm getting up there. So, I, I would really hope it if you would, I, I would, I, I would really love it if you would help me out with that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. So you probably noticed that I'm wearing a, a different outfit and my makeup is different but um, it's, it's the next day because I thought of some more things that I wanted to say in this video but by the time it, it popped into my head it, it was dark out so I didn't want to film because I knew that the hiding would be bad, so I I'm just going to do it now, and I hope you don't mind that I'm wearing a, a different outfit. I don't think it's really, like, integral to this video, but some people are bothered by, like, lack of continuity, and ho hopefully that d doesn't bother you, but... If it does, I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. And what uh, what I really want you to take away from, from this video, I think, is that the real issue with in, inspiration porn is that it, it ignores the systemic up oppression of disabled people by making it seem like if disabled people work hard enough they can overcome their disability which is a a myth and the reason why I say it's it's a myth is because I view disability as a a social issue rather than like a solely medical issue like yes of course there are medical aspects to disability but even if we er 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 eradicated every type of disability we have in today's society we we would find other things to label as a, a disability so I think what we really as a society what we need to do is we, we need to acknowledge that that ableism is a real issue and that it harms people and that we need to stop having these expectations for people to overcome things and just inspiration porn is just very bad in that way and I think I'm gonna end the video here if you have any questions comments or if you feel a, a, a different way than I do, please feel free to comment down below. But what I do ask is if you do, please be re respectful. And and also, no, 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 no oh, oh offense, but I don't really want non-disabled people to share their view on this in the comments down below. And it, it is my comment section so I can like mo 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 moderate it and delete
comments that that I specifically asked people not to make. And it's not to be mean. It's just, I believe when it's an issue about a specific marginalized group and people outside of that m m marginalized group add in their uh, opinion and they talk over the marginalized group, like, that's not what I'm trying to I do here so just so you know if you do that I may delete your, your comment but um yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video one second I have to get up bye